welcome. My name is Ernest Flagg. I am with Nursing and Behavioral Health Services. This video will focus on how to operate a successful AFC home. It is a personal care home in any state. It's a series that we're running. We will be talking about uh, a number or a plethora of different uh, topics and subtopics that, that, that happen to be geared toward helping you make your facility run the best it could possibly run, uh, whether you're a new provider, a, 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 a up and coming provider, or a prospective uh, provider, uh, we, this information will be helpful. I want to get right into talking about the focus of this video. It is the MAR, the Medication Administration Record. I'm pulling it up right now. Uh, our links are below. You can use those links to go to our website to uh, sign up for free consultation, uh, to look at more of our videos, to peruse our website, see the additional services we offer, uh, to check out our blog. We got a whole host of uh, articles and good information on uh, starting a personal care home or home care home health agency. Okay, now looking at the MAR, the MAR happens to be the the happen to be a tool, a document, the medication administration record and it happens to be uh, at the crux of health care in a personal care home or in an adult day program in a facility. This MAR is, uh, it serves as a window to patient care. It serves as a window to care given and not given. So many, so for years, when I've gone into inspecting or evaluating homes or facilities, this is one of the first documents I love to go to. Uh, accreditation bodies love to go to. Licensing agencies, they love this document because it tells us how well you're treating your resident, how well you're caring for the resident. If this document is not properly filled out, it can be, it will be used against you, it can be used against you as it, it is an indication, it could be potentially an indication of neglect or ineptness or just simple uh, plain lack of professionalism or you know poor quality of care. It's just how it's looked at. Uh, here to the left in this y-axis here we're looking at, first we're looking at the home name here the bottom of the document is the actual uh, residence name, the physician name, but back there at the top right here, the home name goes here, the month goes here, and the year goes here. Uh, 1 through 31 is to happen to be the months. Uh, MAR is complete every month for every resident that you have. The little boxes up under the numbers, you know, are where your initials go. Your initials would indicate that you have passed the med. That med was passed by you. Here where it says med medications, uh, if you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. This MAR has the ability to uh, hold six medications. So a resident with, with 15 or 20 meds would need multiple MARs. The medications are written in this area right here just as the doctor wrote them. So that information will be coming from the script and not the pharmacy blister packs or the medications the pharmacist sent in. Um, the hours of the day, if it's three times a day, one, two, three, let's just say it would be, the information would go right in this particular area right here. I'm sorry, right there, okay? All right. Uh, let me see anything else. We got side effects area for side effects to be typed in right here uh, Area for the purpose of the drug to go right here. We designed this particular MAR for uh, For our clients the MAR must come with a ledger Indicating the approved abbreviations for the facility or the home no abbreviations can go on this MAR that's not on this ledger as the items on this ledger happen to be uh, written into the your home policy. Diagnoses go here. Anybody signing using using initials on this form or passing medications need to have their name printed, signed here, and the initials here. You cannot have initials in this MAR that 
do not appear down below. That will be a violation and a fine as well as another. If you're using abbreviations that are not approved, that would be a violation or a fine as well. Any incomplete information on this form could be perceived as a violation or a fine as all of this information is relevant information to passing medications. Uh, or assisting with the self-administration of medications. You cannot scratch out any information on this MAR. It is a legal document. You must draw a line through it, uh, a line through it, and uh, you need to uh, figure out what your agency policy is for handling uh, certain errors. Like, you know, for example, if you sign in here and you did not pass that med, uh, how they want that handled because you cannot have an MAR with a bunch of scratches in it. You just cannot. You need to stop right then and just redo the MAR, get a new one done uh, from that day forward uh, because it just don't look professional and it will be perceived as uh, a suspect. I'll leave it just like that. Suspect. Anyway, that's enough about talking about this MAR. This is just part one about this tool. It should be respected. Uh, training should be done on this document regularly. This document is very important. It is essential and is that it is at the crux of patient care, which is why many agencies go to this document right away when they come in to do inspections. Again, my name is Ernest Flagg. I am with Nursing and Behavioral Health Services. Our focus is starting, managing, growing personal care businesses in all states. Visit our website at the links below. Sign up for a free consultation and uh, retain us to uh, uh, set your uh, facility up to start, help you with starting managing your facility and uh, reaching your entrepreneurial dreams. We, we've been doing this for more than 20 years. I'm a registered nurse in several states. I hold a master's in public administration and uh, take my word for it. I don't have to think about what to do when it comes to licensing uh, or starting up a personal care home and home care company, home care agency, durable medical equipment supply company. We do this and, uh, and we do this very well.